Good morning guys, welcome to a video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and in today's video you get to see some of the stock I've bought at Gethly Gay Car Boot Sale. Now I've had a lot of stock so I'm going to split it up into two videos. I did try filming on the day but for some reason the film went totally haywire and didn't record tidy. Um, I have managed to get a little bit of footage of the stall but I've had some beautiful beautiful pieces of stock. Now there's no way I can put it all in one video. I literally had about 20, 30 pieces of stock, really good quality, everything from working stock that will sell well in the shop all the way through to some beautiful silver and jewelry. So make sure you stay to the end guys and there'll be some beautiful pieces in here as usual. So I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna splice in the little footage of the video. Um, so yeah, I really do hope you enjoy guys. Stay tuned. <laughs> Go on then. Hi. Look at my ice cream, guys. Edward bought it for me. Is it nice? Ruining my diet. But is it nice? Yeah, of course it is. Proper ice cream, look. I got a flake as well. You jealous, guys? I know Edward is. We got oh, yeah. Do you want some? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sabotage me. There's a few people here, as you can see. But it is going slow selling, but that's my amazing buys. Let's get started, shall we? We'll start off with some uh, run-of-the-mill working stock. And we have a pressed glass claret jug. Now, there's nothing spectacular about them. It's silver-plated, it's from the Highlands, which is Scotland. Um, but it's not even cut crystal guys however they still 10 to 15 pound for a normal press glass one like this and we'll have a little look online see what we can find it's in the form of a ship's decanter not so they don't fall over and we'll see what it actually pull in online it may surprise me but I've always got 10 to 15 pound for these press glass ones no problem so let's go have a look Okay, what I'm going to do first, guys, is I'm just going to scroll through the sole listings, ended soonest. I haven't done price first. So, just give you an idea, some prices, you know, £13 for press glass one, £10. You got one there, £35 for a press glass, £20, £28. Now, these are not crystal. That's not a crystal decanter, guys. That's press glass and silver plate. So, I'm, I'm about right. Anything up to sort of £20 for these pressed glass claret jugs is okay, to be totally honest with you. Between £10 and £20 is fine. You start coming to the better ones now. But what I'm going to do, just to give you a quick look while I'm uh, on the claret jugs, the highest priced, and these are only silver plate. These are not solid silver, supposed to be. Anyway, yep, silver plate. Part number one, but there. Best offer, 4 35 Silver Plate, Victoria New York, 235 These are sold prices. Circa 1900 I would have thought the Globe and Shaft one was slightly earlier, but £188. Just gives you an idea, guys, of some of the money of these claret jugs. You get a good quality claret in silver plate or silver, and they sells. I'm going to take the plate out, just to give you an idea. How much a silver one sells for? There we go. 
just while we're here, I just as well let you have a little look. Some beautiful uh, plaid jugs here in silver and crystal. Okay, moving on. We have a pair of antique bottle coasters. Now these are Sheffield plate. Now I was at the stall, me and Sandra finished off at the end of the day and we packed up and we'd had enough and we walked around and a lot, some of this stuff, quite a bit of it actually come in at the end of the day after everybody had been round there. Now we got a pair of Victorian Sheffield plate bottle coasters. This one has had worm, that's why I was tapping to see whether it was still active worm or not. And it's not. It's not if it's active, just give it a bang and you'll have some sawdust fall out. So it's long dead. I haven't checked to see if they're silver or plate actually, but I'm looking at them, I would say comfortably silver plate or Sheffield plate. But a nice pair of bottle coasters. They got the age, the 19th century. Um, they were a pound for the two. At the end of the day, mind, a pound for two. You know, I'm really pleased with them, guys. Absolutely, well, what can I say? Okay, so another thing I found at the end of the day with the pair of bottle coasters that you just saw. Some of the people are selling these for some really good money. And these are all Sheffield plate, none of these are silver guys. So, happy days. You're talking a bit of money for the, sh sh uh, the bottle coasters, no problem whatsoever. And mine are about the same period as these. Next piece guys is the first piece of Emma Bridgewater I've had in a long time. Mister. And then to have and to hold from this day forward, love and cherish and so forth, that's the wedding vows. And to have and to hold inside. And then we have the Emma Bridgewater underneath. Now it's got some... Uh, it's not scratching, it's probably in the pattern, in the transfer to be honest with you. Um, however, Emma Bridgewater mug, yeah. <coughs> excuse me, for 50 pence. So I'm over the moon with that, even if it has got this sort of staining in it. But it is what it is, still an Emma Bridgewater mug and we will see how it goes. Okay, so the Emma Bridgewater mugs. Um, I only searched Emma Bridgewater and a Mr. Mug. So there's the Mr. and Mrs. £30 for the pair. There's a Mr. there for a tenner. But as I've shown you before, some of this Emma Bridgewater stuff can pull stupid, stupid bid money while you're on here now. I'll just quickly show you just some of the top ends. Highest priced. Just so you can have a quick glance. Some of this Emma Bridgewater stuff pulls stupid money, guys. It's a name you got to look for. And they, are, I've shipped it all over the world now, so others are obviously shipping all over the world. So this will be available worldwide. Okay, a bit more work in stock. We have a rye pottery. Cat. <laughs> now rye pottery is one of those potteries that is undervalued as far as I'm concerned at the moment. But yeah, a rye pottery cat and again it was a pound. So we'll have a look, see if they pull in any money online.
Okay guys, so I found a pair of my Rye Cats, I think they're the same ones anyway, uh, sold on eBay for £30. That's the pay. So you're talking about £15 or £12 for a single. Um, but what I've done just to show you some of the prices of the Rye Cats, depending on who you um, actually find, some of these can pull good money. And I've only searched rye pottery at this time, just to give you an idea. Some of the rye pottery does sell. It's not all cheap. And these are all sold prices. Just gives you an idea that what you can look for on the rye pottery. Obviously, I've gone highest price first, but. They've done a fair range. Those comical cats, I've seen those about and never bought them, but I will be in future. See, I'm learning every day, making the videos too for you guys. Now we have one of my favourite pieces of the day. And the reason it's one of my favourite is because it's a question mark to me. Now, we have a bowl. It's got this very deep, rich blue ground body however you turn it around and it is an owl this here is the face of an owl <coughs> turn it around again and we have another owl now when I looked at it I thought it was very much in the manner of Toki with or Branham or Barnstable or one of those uh, but when you turn it up it's actually signed XCY or looks like XCY in scruffy dough scrap and scratched in um now i actually thought it might have been by dr christopher dresser so i have to do a bit of research on that but it is absolutely gorgeous it's well made it's got a lot of age to it um things like there i don't know if you can see it tidy to be totally honest with you but i'll include some photographs for you anyway this one is a bit of a puzzle. It's got the age, it's got everything about it. It's got the quality, it's got the look. Unbelievable, I absolutely love it. So we'd be interested to see who's made this one now. Fingers crossed. This is one that's potentially got some serious value, but we'll see. Okay guys, I'm going to start off. I run a million miles off, but I'd like to thank Stu and Helen for their help with this uh, subject here. Um, Stu gave me a few examples, and to be totally honest with you, I wasn't far out. Now, I had a feeling it might have been by Branham, and Branham did actually do these bowls. If you look here, there are a selection of a jug and two bowls. Two produced by Branham, the other produced by uh, Farnham. No difference between them really, just the clay and the colours. So I weren't a million miles out in thinking Branham. Um, but let's show you what I found. There's a Farnham Pottery Blue Owl with one face. Mine got two faces and apparently they were sold at Liberty's. Now... Helen has said if they were sold at Liberty's they would have been marked but I every single one of these I found says they they were all made to be sold through Liberty's now bear with me the computer's a bit slow so we come down now and Farnham Pottery of Surrey I'm going to show you a few examples of the owl bowls uh, where are we at keep going there there's the uh, bowls. This one is in a uh, funny shape. It's not a round bowl. There you go. Um, yeah, bear with me. Right. 
There we go. There's the X used by Farnham Pottery. And this page is quite helpful. It's the 20th Century Forum. And they got quite a bit of talking about the Farnham and the uh, Branham connection. I've done some research finding the Branham owl, uh, owl bowl. They've done them in jugs and in bowls. And they are very, very sought after guys. Now, there's a Farnham site giving you the history of the potteries. Um, there's the address. And it does cover the history of the potteries and everything else. Now, I'm not going to go into all that here. Um, I have read it, and to be honest, it was quite a good read. But as you can see, there's quite a bit to do, and it would take up too much time. But anybody who wants to go and do that, go and have a read, guys, because I tell you now, Farnham is very, very desirable. And I'm going to show you some eBay prices now. Um, let me come across here, open up an eBay page. You'll have a shock now when you see the Farnham pieces. They sell. I didn't realise... This was a company that, to be totally honest to you, I didn't know. I had a feeling what it was, but um, what can I say? Well, there's only six results in Farnham Pottery. And look at that top one below for a vase. £500. There's a jug very similar to my bowl with the owl, £140. Another one, 99 A plain jug, 45 And a little tiny bowl. For 65 that's nothing underneath it um, let's go to the sole listings for you and we got some obviously cheaper prices well, it's a hell of a difference on prices um, yet again the jug £186 for the owl jug and you know I swear I've left some of them there because I didn't know where they were but that X you know, and these owls, I'll never leave another owl piece behind. You can see the money Farnham pulls, and it's marked with a little X, guys, or it does have another mark. Hang on, let me get a few. Right, sorry, guys, about that. Right, let's see if I can get a Farnham Pottery mark for you a second. There we go. There's the other mark. So they sometimes mark with an X and they sometimes mark with that mark. But there you go, I've just typed in Farnham Pottery on Google and look at it. Lots and lots and lots. So happy days is all I can say. Oh, and there's studio pottery marks for Farnham as well. F94, so I'm going to... With the prices this polls, guys, we're going to spend a bit of time learning this subject. Have to be done. Well, guys, that's just a couple of the things I bought in Gatley Gay Car Boot Sale. Now, I showed you some of the work in stock, and I showed you that beautiful Farnham Bowl. <clears throat> now, what can I say? That is a company I wasn't aware of myself up until uh, this weekend when I purchased the bowl for a pound, might I add, at Gatley Gay Car Boot Sale at the end of the day. That tells you everything you need to know. You can still buy at the end of the day as well as at the beginning. Farnham is something I'm going to do a lot of reading on over the next couple of weeks. And I will make a video eventually then showing what I've learned um, on the factory for you to learn it yourself. Because genuinely it pulls good money guys. However what I have seen is people again confused with Farnham and the Belgium pottery. Because it's very similar thick green glaze. So be careful when you're buying it, because the Belgian's also marked with an X. Um, so I've, I've read that much this weekend, so just be careful if you're parting with any proper money. But that bowl is going to be a £100 bowl um, on my website, and wait for an offer. I love it, and to be honest with you, if it doesn't sell, I don't care. It goes to show you can still have some cracking bargains, and that wasn't the best of it yet. I've got the rest of Getly Gay's buys to film, including a beautiful, large, solid silver vase for a pound. Guys, really got some good stuff. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for this video. Uh, try and shorten them down a bit for the moment. 
I really hope you enjoyed having a look at those few pieces. If you did, I would appreciate the like and the share. You'll find me on Facebook. I have a page in the group Antiques Arena. You'll find me on eBay. Uh, Antiques Arena Clearance is my seller ID. I have my own website, antiquesarena.co.uk and antiquesarena.com. And you can always come and visit me in the shop here. It's Antiques Arena, 78 Oxford Street, Mountain Ash, Charlie Foxtrot, 45, 3 Hotel Bravo. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.